Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Oh, look at that. Hello. Welcome. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can get the whole thing. Welcome back. You didn't know that we were gone, did you? No, I've been, uh, I'm in a kind of an odd situation. Hello, pig. That pig is, uh, that's the star of the last episode, the pig moonwalk. Um, I'm in an odd situation because I don't, uh, I don't keep the same schedule that, uh, most YouTubers seem to, uh, which is a good sensible schedule. Um, they'll record an episode, edit it the same day and upload a little later on the same day. Um, and that, that makes imminent sense. Hello, buddy. Don't, uh, don't worry. It, it, well, yeah, <laughs> it, it only hurt a bit. Um, so I'm out here at the iron farm, <coughs> which I was uh, sort of completing at, on the last episode, but the, the cactus farm was still there. I took that down. All the villagers are now in the, uh, the farm is fully functional. I dug out a little underground view killing area. Before it was just a hallway. I've got this whole area now. I moved the portal over here because why not? And I uh, put it in the little storage. You want some flowers? We got some flowers. Uh, and then uh, got some space back here for some iron. Uh, we haven't exactly generated a huge surplus yet, but the farm works pretty well. How did some andesite get in there? Uh oh. How did some andesite get in there? That's weird. Um, I think somebody got trapped inside. And maybe dug their way out. I'm wondering if I should go in and check it out. Because there's no way that a block should have gotten in there. Anyway, uh, so the fire iron farm is here. It works pretty darn well. It works pretty much at the rates that I figured. We get a uh, iron golem about every uh, 20 seconds on average. Um, notice there's not one right here, and I can wait 20 seconds and one won't come, but they, they tend to come in, uh, in waves, which is just fine. And they will stack up. And, oh, here comes one now. He's trying to walk south that way, as I said. Pardon me. Hang on a sec. <coughs> Sorry. Um, oh, and somebody slipped by while I was uh, talking. So anyway, they they come and they come pretty pretty frequently or frequently enough. Um, and uh, yeah, I have a little area down there so you can portal in and out. It all works quite nicely. And uh, very worried about that block of andesite, but I'm not seeing anything missing. So. And the farm is still working, so I'm not too worried. It's a little loud, but that's okay. So, so there we go. Um, I don't know if you've ever gone and seen a uh, fish ladder, like where they go and build uh, dams. If there's a migratory fish that used to swim upstream to their, you know, to their spawning grounds, they will often build little underground uh, fish ladders for them to go jump up and swim up so they can get back to where they uh, can make more fish uh, this uh, I was kind of thinking uh, along those lines when I built this it's under it's kind of underground and you can see what's going on uh, anyway you, I like coming in here and I'll just hang out back here and just wait AFK here you get plenty of iron. I've got a nice little surplus, enough that I decided to make my own iron chest at home. So anyway, um, 
I want to do a little catch up here because this is uh, episode number 25. And uh, I uploaded episode 24 just yesterday, although I recorded it like a month ago. Whoa! Yeah, okay. I bet that'll be cute in the server logs. Um, yeah, so... Wow. Oh, my, my pings are horrible. Okay, so I'm going to go double check to make sure that nothing is trying to do a media download right now on the Wi-Fi network. And, uh, and I'll come back and we will go on to the next spot. I'm going to do a little catch up quickly of the, uh, the things that I've done since I last recorded and uploaded. Because there have been a few. Nothing super major, but uh, there have been a few things. So hang on a second. I will be right back. Oh, hello. So you've seen this before. This is the, uh, the Nether Fortress. I did some work on it. I slabbed out a lot of stuff. I brought over this netherrack ceiling, which I should probably change to something else, but it just extended what was already there to make this area completely safe from these guys. And notice, I now get a lot of them, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm finding now that uh, it doesn't take much It doesn't take long to actually get a uh, wither skull now. So I don't need to build some sort of uh, automated farm with dogs and all that. Although I suppose I could. Oh, look. Look at that. I got myself a wither skull. Pretty cool. Okay. So, hello, Mr. Blaze. Ooh, we got more withers over here. Wither skeletons over here. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know you want it, right? Come on. Okay. So this area is a little more productive, which is not bad. It's a good thing. Makes it a little easier to get the uh, wither, wither skulls. Um, let me show you the aqua base. Now we're uh, we're playing 184 here, which uh, they've switched back the uh, the portal behavior to the way it was in the 18 snapshots, which means if you have an at all laggy environment, it gets really hard to get through portals. It's really annoying. So traditionally, oh goodness, that sounds bad. Uh, so traditionally, when you get through a portal, it puts you on the portal frame. And if you stand there, it'll bring you back through the portal. And you'll go back and forth if you don't move. Uh, with one of the 1.8 snapshots or 1.8.1 or one of those versions, they made it so that it dropped you off next to the portal. Which was great for me. Because although I'm doing okay right now, uh, if you have uh, any network speed issues at all, or I think it's latency, but uh, you end up getting stuck in the portal. It makes it kind of hard to get out. So putting it out next to it, kind of guarantees that you get out it does however put create some situations where you might have a uh, uh, you might get put out into into a solid wall that happened to me a couple times sometimes if your portals next to an edge you'll fall off the edge all very annoying but uh, now in 184 they switched it back so it's kind of frustrating you see my mining area not too much has changed down there um, you might notice that I'm moving a little quickly here because, bam, beacons. I got three of them. Woohoo! So I've got a few. Uh, I've got a few buffs here. So don't really need uh, haste, but um, I'm thinking it might be useful to get. I don't know. Put the the speed and regen on separate beacons. So. Uh, I have plenty of wither skeleton skulls, uh, so, oop, ouch. Uh, I also uh, cleared out this area, 
and I glossed in the uh, the base of the the monument mostly and I went in and lit the ground in there so you can kind of see what's going on I haven't done the backside yet I need to do that yet uh, I'm a little disappointed that uh, I don't get any squid spawning inside the monument underneath in the base there so I'm, I'm not sure why I still have to do these guys back here it's a little tedious it's my stairway down to the mine uh, and then I have to do the stuff underneath my little uh, pathway my railway to uh, to the guardian farm guardian farm is the same it works it works quite nicely um, so I made this little backward back entrance Oh, I got turned around uh, and then if I need to go up on top of the wall and just come out here swim up it works pretty well uh, so that was a little tedious but it's worth it so this goes over to the guardian farm guardian farm is the same no real difference there uh, I moved some of the storage down in the mining area I'm trying to figure out what to do with this I think I might go put storage in along the wall along the sides here and tear out most of these inner walls keeping the floors keeping the uh, there's essentially three levels here and I think I want to preserve that hello Mr. Beacon did I oh I need to glass that in um, and then I want to figure out what to do with this make this uh, I've got this glass so you can walk up here and see what's going on uh, so I want to make this I want to do some something fun with this the ground down there is all um, stone there's nothing special about it oops wrong way um, I didn't I didn't do anything with that yet I'm thinking grass maybe don't who knows uh, I don't not at this point uh, yeah, so like plant this down here, put some plants, maybe put in some trees. I don't know. I have to figure out the lighting, so I was playing around with it here. Um, and then make this my little walkway. i decorate it. have not done that and haven't spent a lot of time with it yet. Other than the very tedious process of clearing everything out. And I am thinking of moving over here and making this my sort of base my main base of operations so moving a lot of the stuff I've got over it and my original little hobbit hole sort of base uh, bring it over here but anyway so that's this hang on a second and let's go visit something new let's see what else why haven't I recorded in over a month I've been uh, I've been a little busy with work Hopefully that's not too loud let's turn this down a little bit um, been busy with uh, with work my computer started acting up I had to bring it in and have them uh, take a look at it and uh, they ended up replacing uh, the innards pretty much everything except the SSD and the display which was pretty crazy and they only charged 300 bucks for it so thank you Apple um, I do love this laptop I love it. it's a MacBook Air 13 inch. I love it dearly. I think it's the best laptop ever created. Uh, I was kind of looking for an excuse to get one of the new MacBook MacBooks with the, uh, the you know the fanless MacBooks and with the uh, the red display and everything. I they did not give me that reason, so I didn't. Uh, let's see, nothing new over there down this way. We've got some new stuff. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Yeah, and then I got a little sick. And I've been preparing for Maker Fair, which is next weekend. My guess is... The Iron Farm's down there. We'll go over down here. Uh, my guess is I won't get this video edited and uploaded until after I get back from Maker Fair. Uh, I am going with Crash Space. We have a booth. We have a booth every year for the last several years now. And it's kind of the big, you know, it's kind of the big pilgrimage of the year. 
for everyone. It's pretty cool. I enjoy going and talking to people and telling them about Crash Space and showing off some of the projects people have done. This year I have a project. And that project is a ukulele that I made. Um, I have a friend who in New York, he is a member of NYC Resistor, which is a um, hacker space in, in Brooklyn. They, oh, that's good. Um, and they, uh, um, they're, you know, they're hacker space like Crash Space. They're older and they're, uh, let's say, friends of ours. <laughs> and uh, one of my friends, uh, you can see what I mean about getting through portals there. There we go. Uh, one of my friends, Ranjit, um, he, uh, about four or five years ago, he made a, what he calls an 8-bit violin, which was all done on the laser cutter at NYC Resistor, which is really freaking cool. Um, it was an actual playable violin that he made using the tools at uh, NYC Resistor. So it's very cool. I saw it and thought to myself, Somebody needs to make a ukulele like that. So I started designing it. I got stuck on the neck, some aspects of the design. I sort of set it aside. I finally picked it up earlier this year and decided to finish it. And I am working furiously to get it all done and completed in time for Maker Fair. That's going to be my sort of project to show at Maker Fair. So let's uh, give us a little bit more volume here. And the lovely rain. So this... You may be wondering, what is it? Gold block up here. Big honking portal, which I need to change. But um, then we're out here in a swamp. Oh, that should be enough of a clue for you. Uh, I built a witch farm. I think I showed this witch hut on camera. Uh, so I came out and built a standard uh, standard witch farm, the sort of zip crowd design, uh, and it works quite nicely. This was the original platform I built. It put the portal out right on top of the witch, of the witch hut. I moved it up to this platform, thinking that would be high enough to uh, Im improve the efficiency. No, not so much. But uh, I will show you what I did. That's why the upper platform's up there. Uh, so this is still a work in progress. Hello, dude. <coughs> so, oh look, there's a bunch of witches down there. Look at that. They're having a little dance party. Oh, that's so cool. It's a witch disco. Okay, this is a little different from what you are probably used to seeing on witch farms. That part, this part here is all exactly the same. It's a standard three layers, shifting floor design. Uh, but the normal thing to do, oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton, got in there too. I do have some spawning spaces up here that I think I know where they are. I need to get rid of them. Um, so the normal thing to do is, of course, dig a big pit, drop them down, and then put a bunch of hoppers, which, of course, I could do. We have an iron farm now. Uh, but I just I was started playing around with uh, different ways of killing uh, witches, and started playing around with cactus, and I did uh, some stuff in my in my creative world. Here comes another skeleton, and I started doing some testing with the sort of cactus design, the sort of zigzag that I that I use in the string farm, uh, the the double spawn of string farm, for instance and uh did some testing with that and was thinking oh, it might be too slow for the witches the witches take a long time to die because they pull out healing potions and they start healing themselves but as you can see they do die uh, it takes a while but they die um they're uh they're not fast enough for uh, the cactus kills them too quickly for their potions to be at any use and they eventually die um so why did i want to do this Mainly because I didn't want to dig down and dig a big old deep hole. There's some lava lakes down there and some other stuff. And I just didn't want to do that and then have to do a monstrous item elevator. From, you know, here we are at 
y58. Uh, so this is a couple blocks up, but I didn't want to have them basically have to dig a pit down to like y30 or y26 or something like that. It was just too much. Yay. So a little hole there. We can go down. I did some testing and I found that when you drop witches into a space that's wider than the space that you drop them in, uh, they spread out in the water stream. Come on. There we go. They spread out in the water stream. So this hole in the glass here is where they fall down. This is where the, the floors are up above. Uh, and then they, they spread out. So this is uh, four blocks deep, 13 blocks wide. And it is a big W, which I kind of like. And it works. Um, and after I got this thing built, I started worrying about, oh, maybe did I screw up? And by not getting them far enough away from here fast enough, would I hit mob cap? And because it takes them so long to die on the cactus, is that going to screw things up? I don't think so. Um, my benchmarking on this seems to indicate that everything is... Uh, we 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 sort of hover up near mob cap but never quite hit it um so i think we're okay the the farm just keeps generating and they die fast enough not to worry about it i came down here to dig out um dig out and make sure everything was lit up i think i got all the caves um come on there we go so the other thing, the other reason that I didn't want to, I didn't want them to drop the 32 blocks or 36 blocks or whatever it is that witches need in order to die because they have extra hearts is, uh, I didn't want them to despawn before they fell to their death. And I don't know if that's a thing or not, um, if they fall and the killing platform is below you know, more than 128 blocks away from where you are. I don't know if they despawn before they die. I figured that would that would really be bad. So, <clears throat> so you can see, and this is just from the time that we've been here. Uh, this thing generates about 1,400 drops an hour. We have plenty of stuff now. Ooh, look at all that glowstone, redstone, gunpowder. Um, and I haven't done any serious AFK time here. And I've taken some of these supplies. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what to do with all the sticks. Because I don't really need them. And it generates a few other things. I get a few ink sacks. I think there's a slime chunk that partially borders on this. But. Um, and then I grew a giant mushroom here. Just to see if I could. I want to build a little, a little sort of full... Full service potion brewing uh, setup. Does that make sense? So I want I want a little mushroom farm so we can make little fermented spider eyes. I want to uh, I want a little carrot farm so you can make night vision potions. Um, little melon farm so you can make healing potions and then a lot of I mean basically a lot of the stuff you need comes from that oh and then another wart a uh, little nether wart farm and i want to make those semi automated not completely automatic because you can't but you know a little bit so you can just come up and you have all the stuff you need to make all the potions you want so that's that's that oh and the standard item elevator here i'm not going to go down and show it to you it's completely standard um yeah I obviously need to bring it up here. So from where we were down there, that lower platform, I was only getting about 120, 130 drops an hour, which obviously was not right. So I did the math and uh, figured out that this is really up here. Up here is where you wanted to be. This gold block is the center of the farm. So standing here is kind of ideal spot. And from up here, you have a radius, uh, potential spawning radius of about 50 blocks around the farm. 
and I went through and there were a couple little bits of dirt island here and there uh, within that I went through and cleared them out and I went down and lit up the caves underneath I think we're pretty much working as efficiently as it's going to get I do get a fair amount of squid spawning in the waters around here um, that's not awesome but I don't know what to do about that I don't think there's much to be done about that unless I want to clear out the water and then slab it or something like that I don't know so I don't think the squid are affecting things too much but which farm pretty cool so it's a good source of uh, glowstone and redstone and gunpowder and all that good stuff and spider eyes which the string farm does not does not generate okay come on okay so then uh, Pete and smash masher were wanting to uh, get some stained clay so they <laughs> they made a little path here through the nether out to a spot where they can make a portal out to the mesa biome which I had found and supplied them with the coordinates and it's not this isn't a great little way to get out there but <coughs> but it works and they found another another fortress which is kind of cool so oh yeah there's another the fortress I was looking at that orange clay block that they put up there and from a distance it kind of looked like a uh, looked like a ghast so from here you go up uh, I haven't explored this this fortress much but it's not large it seems pretty tiny They're like dead ends here there's a blaze spawner up there I think um, there's some more fortress over there but I don't it doesn't even look connected I don't know that there's a hallway that goes underneath there and it seems to end here it seems like a really tiny fortress but ah, you can see over there what I did so uh, and this is a little dangerous coming out here because of the gas and whatnot but they've got a little path you don't have to walk through the soul sand. They marked it out with uh, torches and laid down blocks to make it a little clear. And they built a little building here and a portal. Woohoo! Uh, so I built, uh, I haven't lit it up yet, but I built a uh, I extended. Uh oh. We're okay for now. So I extended our little rail line out here past the witch farm out to at the same level out to the a good theoretical location for the mesa biome so i'm going to i'm going to move the portal down there but i want to have a chance to talk with them before i do that so and they built a little uh forward operating base out here hey guys oh goodness it's daytime so yeah and this is a pretty good sized mesa so um i've gone and i've gone and done some walking around oh oh interesting so they they aren't too uh concerned about <laughs> ecological devastation right near their little house there but i don't know how much stained clay the hardened clay they figure they need so let's see here let's see if I can find it what time is it oh yeah, good whoa where was it Right, it was right out here, right? There it is. Ah. Oh, 
goodness. Ah, parkour. Oh, no, I think this is a natural cave. So yeah, lots, lots of hardened clay for everybody. Oh, a dead end? Oh, not quite. Oh, wow. Is this, is this a Mesa Ravine? Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Okay, I don't want to get lost. I think I'm at risk for doing so. All right. So I I found a little spot. I wandered away. Found a little like oasis. A little patch of. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a plains biome. Sort of. Not too far away. From the little house that they did. And. Uh, you know these little spots here. Where there's uh, some trees. And some dirt. And some stuff like that. I haven't marked it very well. It might be that over there. <laughs> oh, another big cake. Maybe not. No. Okay. I don't know. Hang on a second. Here we go. I found it. All right. A little crafting table and a little chest out here to hang on to stuff. Sun's going down. Let's go downstairs. So I dug out a little area to get myself some clay. I should move a port. I should move a beacon over here. But notice, <gasps> cave. So this, there's been some good uh, fun exploring over here. Uh, what's the best way down? And of course, it would be really good to have a bed over here, wouldn't it? Oh, I need to get up there. So some of this is dark. Hello, Mr. Creeper. I don't want any. I gave it the office. Oh. Okay. He just gave up. So I haven't really explored much of this at all. Hello, Mr. Bat. You scared the bejesus out of me. Another creeper. Oh. Oh. Oh goodness, whoops, sorry about that. And I don't have a ton of torches either, so anyway, um but there's stuff down here to explore. There's all that clay up there to grab. I think I wandered over this way, but yeah. Oh, and look at this. Oh <laughs> zombie spawner. With more horse armor and st other stuff. I got some name tags out of this. But this is like... This is unusual. So this is a completely... Um, this dungeon was completely enclosed. Uh, this here was removed as part of the cavern generation, I think. But there was no actual... Normally, you know, part of a cavern intersects 
a little bit with the dungeon so that it you know you can wander into it i had to dig my way in here this was uh this was kind of unusual don't know if i'm going to do anything with that but it's uh it's kind of fun so anyway there's lots of exploring to be done here uh I'll probably spend some time out this way now that i have a safer path to it through the nether so let's see here how do i get out So this room isn't super safe, but safe enough. Oh, oh look, I've got some uh, some some clay to bring back with me. Cool. All right. Well, it's the middle of the night. I'm not going to spend. I'm not going to do a lot of uh, digging on camera here, but uh, yeah, I need a beacon here. Uh, anyway, let me. Uh, I'll gather up some more of this stuff and then when the sun comes up we will uh i'll come back to you there we go anyway this is a little uh little mesa area lay down some more torches uh decided to come out this way a bit to avoid uh, avoid the sort of ecological destruction Close to the little house that uh, Pete and Smash Master made. I assume, built a nice little tower there so you can see where it is. I assume looking at it, because there's no beds and not much storage there. I assume that it's uh, pretty much a sort of a uh, forward base for them. It's not really like they're relocating their base. But, uh, yeah. So it's just a little just a little place they're not gonna they're not gonna build it up too much their base over near spawn well it's not super close to spawn but it's actually pretty cool uh, they've put a lot of work into it and they've got a nice little self-sufficient area so remember that that's that little oasis right there so yeah it's pretty cool I got some clay so let's go uh, let's go back home I don't have that much more to show you I don't think I got a door on each side here watch a little infinite water source a little, a little protection around the portal uh, oh I can toss this in there oh no but I can put that in there oh, I need to clear some of this out nice uh yeah so there's you know there's just the odds and ends there's not a ton of uh, useful stuff here they've got some some good wood but uh other than that really nothing and over here just windows just able to look out uh so nothing fancy but uh made out of the materials of the area which is nice at least it fits in oh one more thing to show you hang on a second i'll be right back Oh man. Oh great. Okay. Thing about gas is if you just keep moving, you'll be okay because they shoot at you where you are. So if you then move, unless you then let's say directly behind you and they're like they get really lucky. Um they won't uh, they won't get you. But they they end up lighting so much of the nether on fire. It's kind of annoying. So yeah so i built this uh extension out over here let's go for a ride so i think it's kind of cool so i used i started using black glass out here since i i have some ink sacks from the the guardian farm again i'm using the little chevron motif here to point you back towards spawn uh, where we're going through the the uh, tunneling through nether rack here i'm just using stone brick but when we get out into the exposed i am um, using glass 
so you can actually see what's going on and do some sightseeing while you're riding the rails it's pretty cool um, it's safe the gas can't see you through the glass come out here boop, pop out so this will be the portal out to the Mesa area um, I built this little thing their portal area is right above us so it's uh it's, it's up there somewhere so I will my plan is to disable it I don't think they're in love with that little little hut they built this is much safer what is that was that part oh that's part of the path that they built okay so this is the path leading up so I guess the fortress is up here I do like that I did this like there was a lava flow falling down here so I decided to uh, incorporate it so it flows around the uh, the walkway I think that looks pretty cool but you know whatever uh, so let's uh, go back so now with the rail out here it's a you know it's it's a bit of a hike it's a distance but it's not uh, it's not bad hi dude and of course I've got the uh, slabs half slabs above the rail so pigmen can't spawn on the rail but you can still ride in without suffocating because the slabs are a transparent block <clears throat> transparent block and uh, it's a bit of a hike but you know it's not too bad you don't have to you don't use up any hunger riding out here so that's that's good cool come out here stop and pick up a cart so yeah and then I've got some building supplies and whatnot out here that I'll need to, to bring back eventually but then clean it up but that was a staging area for building out so that's the witch farm and then past that is the Mesa so we're building out a nice little hub area here about to go around the corner prayer for black ouch yeah. so anyway uh, I think that oh yeah I wanted to hang on a second I'll, I'll come back at you when we are back home all right welcome back home chicken machine I killed most of the chickens well in my attempt to kill them I let most of them out uh, so now it mostly generates eggs but uh, the volume of chicken has decreased but that's fine because look at this we have more chicken than we will ever possibly use uh, my little birch tree choppy down forest here I got rid of put in a fountain just a cute little fountain hello um, nothing too nothing too fancy uh, let's see Vex has done some stuff on the on his village but I'll show that to you later I repaired the map woohoo um, unfortunately because after I made these map pieces I moved the spawn location to right there um, there's some stuff now these maps don't work so if I if I pick one up I have oops, I have a spare here of this one so if I come up and go look woohoo we are notice the dot up in the corner the upper right corner we are up there we are up that direction from this particular piece of map here but you know what um if you go down to this area the dot doesn't come off the corner and uh, notice there's some clearings there i want to figure out what those are because they seem interesting uh and i don't know where i don't know what they are so anyway I've wandered over there with a map didn't find it let's see here any other changes no 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 inside I've got a few nice um oh why did that close oh server lag I've been playing around brewing so this is this is a little test brewing setup um, I, I have a little automatic thingy here I've got like three hoppers underneath a thing of water and if you uh, if you pick up a bunch of bottles which I have I have a bunch of bottles here but they're all filled filling up this many bottles is a monstrous pain in the butt but if you stand up here and point down not at the hopper but at the side here 
and uh, and have your stack of empty glass bottles and just right click away and if your inventory is filled up you start throwing the glass bottles down and the uh, the hoppers catch it and they funnel it into this chest then you can pick them up from here uh, this is a prototype obviously this isn't super functional uh, it would be useful for this to be in a brewing machine um, not there yet I'm sort of playing around with it I've seen some tutorials and I'll probably build something but you can you can automate brewing uh, so if you have a thing in the back here a hopper in the uh, going into the side will feed bottles into the brewing stand boop, 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 boop. and uh, a hopper above will feed ingredients and I put this here to sort of turn off the hopper so you can preload it so here right now I've got aqua potions if I wanted to make some fire resistance potions Let's see how we're doing on fire resistance and potions over here. We're doing okay. We don't need any more. But if I wanted to... Wait. Okay. Because this is kind of cool. So we take a little bit of redstone. And I've got myself a little bit of magma cream here. Um... And a little bit of another wart. This is pretty cool. So if I come up here and I load up, okay, so I've got awkward potions here already. These already have nether wart in them. So I need the magma cream and then the redstone to extend it and then nether wart for the next batch. And if I go pop, no, oh, look, it already fed the, uh, the magma cream down and look, it's brewing. So it'll brew a uh, fire resistance potion. Then it'll pull in. It pulls in the items out of the hopper in order. So the next thing it'll pull is the redstone, which will make the extended potion. Make sure I have three spaces here. Now I've got fire resistance. Now the redstone. It'll go make this an eight minute fire resistance potion, which is pretty cool. I've got some here already. I'm working out in the Nether. You sort of have to carry these things because. If you get, if you somehow, you know, irk the, uh, the pigmen, you need the potion of strength. Okay, so now they're extended. And notice it's not brewing because putting nether wart into this doesn't make any sense. But if I clear these out, notice it loads water bottles from the hopper to the side and automatically starts brewing. So now we will end up with a potion of, uh, an awkward potion. And I turn this uh, torch on, so now... I can put more things in the hopper there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't need all these potions. And the nice thing about having effectively unlimited uh, unlimited potions or unlimited glass bottles and other potion accoutrements from the witch farm is you can easily grab a couple stacks of glass bottles, fill them up in a thing like this and bring them into the nether and load them up into the hopper and then you don't have to worry about the cauldron and filling from a bucket and making sure that you refill the bucket and all that stuff which is annoying um not not uh not fun at all so there we go and clay so i set up clay down here so this is the actual soft clay that comes out of river beds bricks that you bake from it and all that good stuff and then here's where I've got uh, hardened clay and all that good stuff I I haven't started doing anything with this but um, it's a nice building material so I do want to oh like gray and I've got I've got all this sort of non stained hardened clay which is nice and I've got a variety of different stained clays uh, orange being the most common in the Mesa. So then we got yellow, white, which comes out pink for some reason. It would be nice if this were actually white, but then it would look like quartz. So I don't know. Anyway, I think that's all. It's all the, the updates. I've been recording for quite a while here. This will edit down some, but probably not a ton. Uh, yeah. And there haven't been that many updates over at the Vex farm 
uh, at the, the village. He's done some, but not a lot. And I haven't, uh, I haven't done too much. So here, water bottles, awkward potion. So yeah, you can just load stuff up in here. Pop, 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 and get the potions you need. Um, it would be nice to have a machine, a little punch push button machine. And I know there are people who've done that, and I will, uh, I'm going to work on how to do that. I'll probably build in a creative world some of the tutorials that are out there. But, um, yeah. Let's see. Anything else? I don't think so. I had added a player head drop, the same thing that on the my, uh, the Hermitcraft server. I don't know if I showed you that or not. I don't think there's anything else new out here. We have a new player on the server, but he hasn't really started building anything yet. His name is Matt, and uh, he's another Crash Base member. So, let's see here. Ooh. Oh, there it is. It's not quite under. So this is... So this is the machine. This is the redstone machine. It's got some uh, fill clock commands here. Um, everyone, I put everyone on a team on the white team. So when you pull up here, it uh, it everyone it looks normal. And then I've got a command block for each person on whitelisted on the server. This is uh, Matt. Let's see if it shows that here. No, it does not. Um, yeah, so this is, and then these are, these reset some of the scoreboard stuff. It's all, it's all very complicated. Um, I did find that, uh, the Hermitcraft setup didn't work here exactly. Um, it worked roughly, but it would get in a situation when you killed somebody, they would just start spewing heads all over the place. So, uh, I had to switch this. And uh, basically, um, this puts everyone on the on the uh, on the team, and then each of these blocks, when somebody dies, uh, are killed by another player. Uh, they they drop a head, and then these reset everything. And they were originally trying to reset selectively, and they would try to reset just the player who was killed, and. Uh, um, but thinking about it, it's like, well, that, that wasn't working on this server for some reason. And it seems to be something that affects other, other servers as well. Um, so, but I found that just by resetting all of the both scoreboards for all the players that fixed the problem and it still works. I have a little chest down here with, um, come on open uh with some stuff stuff that nobody can get in creative i've got extra skulls here for that's matt's matt's head um but they stay down here and there and there's a bedrock line box underneath turns out underneath my my base my basement oops whoa Oh, super laggy. <laughs> so here's my here's my basement. <laughs> Hello, slimes. Uh, so yeah, it's it's right down here. I put some torches on the floor to do not where it was. But if you go digging down, uh, if any of the players or myself when I'm in survival go digging down, you'll hit the bedrock box and you won't be able to do anything. So so yeah, um, that's it. I don't think there's anything else. Um, I did set up a camera account so I can start doing some time lapse type stuff um, in spectator mode. 
more than happy to set up a camera account for anyone who wants to actually record content. Got some good obsidian here to mine out. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this basement. I had plans, I had ideas, but I don't know. It's uh, it's big and it's just kind of unsightly. My village is still here. I think they're too close to the village upstairs. Hello, dude. Wow, that's a dark ravine. Right underneath my village. <laughs> oh, goodness. And honestly, I don't know what to do with this. Because it's... Uh, Vex has his village over here set up very nicely now he put in a little lake and he made some automated farms for potatoes and carrots and and uh, wheat and stuff and look how much stuff he has carrots up the wazoo oops and he doesn't mind um other people taking from it which is mostly me uh wheat which unless we decide to build a building out of uh hay bales i don't i don't know community farm here for the other villagers and then he set up these little uh he's started trapping in some of these guys so we can come in and get oh he got an efficiency five book can i trade with this guy i guess not um yeah i'm breaking three and it's not super cheap but hey that's not bad silk touch this guy's crazy. He's got two silk touch trades, and one's uh, cheaper than the other. Huh. So anyway, that's that's very handy when you're having to craft new stuff. And uh, keep losing these item frames here. I don't know what um, what's going on. I hope we don't have like a problem with the the chunk on the server. Uh, but he puts item frames up here to indicate the. The type of trades so these ones keep losing their frames so I don't know yeah um, I think that's it all right I've gone on way too long thank you if you're still watching thank you so much um, I really appreciate it and uh, mind hearing from you why why do you watch I'm just playing because I enjoy playing and uh, there's uh, not too much more to it. Oh, I like the snow. Um, and, you know, the videos help me kind of kind of justify it a little bit in my head, which is kind of silly. But, uh, but, you know, it's the way it is. Trying to tell Matt that he should come out here and build out here because there's plenty of space. It's on the other side of this wall. We can tear down this wall. Kyle built it, but <clears throat> you know, it's a little silly. Or out over here, maybe underneath, underneath Risk's place. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Um, just excited to be back, recording some. Uh, so I don't know that I will have this edited and posted before I go to Maker Fair. And uh, I will try. But if not, I will I will get it done after Maker Fair. And uh, then I will hopefully have time to come back and record some more and figure out what we're gonna do what we're gonna do next. Oh wow, that's fascinating. Okay, but that's also cheating. So, all right, thank you very much. This is Theron. And you've been watching Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right, bye.